UTF Everest is requesting clearance to dock, the voice over the comms announced. Natar jolted up in her seat, all four eyes locking onto the screen in front of her. The massive Trade Federation ship slowly approached the orbital station, awaiting the green light to dock. She took her time, carefully reading through the ship's documents, permission slips. It's the ship coming from one of the terror colonies, hauling cargo to Agrarius Prime. A co-worker read out loud, from the screen in front of him. Natar's heart picked up the pace, her body stiffening. All their papers check out, they're cleared to dock, she said, clearing her throat in the process. Her eyes scanned over the list of personnel on the ship, over and over again. A crew of mixed species, but predominantly human, with a human captain and vice-captain in charge. A breath hitched in her throat for a moment, her leg bouncing up and down nervously. For a Zataran, such behaviour was uncommon, but it did not raise any alarms with her co-workers, who unlike her, seemed pretty indifferent about the whole ordeal. As customs agents, they received hundreds of ships daily, and tons upon tons of cargo. But for Natar, it was not about the cargo, nor from where the ship had come from, but who was inside it. Theodore Ivanov, the vice-captain of UTF Everest, yawned and stretched in his chair. Oh, he groaned, while stretching all four of his limbs simultaneously, hands wide open, as if grasping for the perfect of stretches. Thank fuck this is over. I swear, I thought my spine would fuse with this chair from how long I've sat in it, he said, nudging the captain, as both of them walked out of the main control room, delighted to finally get off the ship. I'll be buried in mine, seems only fair considering how much my behind became used to it, the elderly captain replied with a smile. The crew was already busy, preparing the cargo bay for unloading. Outside, the Zataran awaited to greet them. Armed customs agents already lined up on both sides of the ship's main hatch, standing at attention. Man, look at him. If I didn't know better, I'd think the President of the Galactic Council snuck on board with us, and they're waiting for him. The Vice Captain chuckled, as the hatch slowly opened with a hiss. You know how over the tops a Taran like to be at times, especially when it comes to formality and welcoming guests, the Captain replied adjusting his uniform a bit, both men assuming their professional postures and stepping out. Oh god. Oh god. Natar panicked to herself. As the Satarans lined up on both sides of the ship's exit hatch, she could feel her palms sweating. One would think that a Zataran, especially a customs agent inside the orbital station of her own planet, would have no issues confronting humans. But here she was, Eyes nervously darting around, looking at the hatch, then at the floor, then at the hatch again. She inhaled, adjusting her stance and lifting her chin up, looking dead ahead with an ice-cold stare of a professional. You alright there, Nat? An agent on her left asked, trying to hide his curling lip. I think you got the posture down to a T. He inhaled sharply, drowning the oncoming giggles with a tired of space station air. Ice front sec, Natar quietly hissed, her next words interrupted by the hissing sound of the hatch, unlocking and opening, causing her ears to shoot up. You'd think her neck was snapped with how far she turned her head, back towards the trade ship. Was he there? Was he there? What if he wasn't? Maybe he got held up back on the colonies? Her mind raced. The Sataran's legs felt like jelly, as she pressed her rifle tighter against her chest, as if the cold metal would somehow calm her heart. The crewless said he was on board. She inhaled again, closing her eyes for a moment, trying to steady herself. Such an odd feeling, considering Zatarans didn't have much issues with emotions. The clang of the hatch finally hitting the floor snapped her back to reality. Her ears perked up once more, all four of her eyes suddenly locking in on the two figures exiting the ship and exchanging greetings with the station's head of command. Natar wanted to run, away from the humans exiting the ship, or towards them. It didn't matter, she just needed to move. 
The vice captain's eyes seemed to scan over the crowd of Satarans, standing at attention, until they finally landed on the tar. His expression softened, a look of infatuation briefly replacing the stoic facade of the vice captain before returning. Natar felt like melting right there, the pupils of her four eyes dilating, and her heart thumping in her chest. A nudge from Zek grounded her in the last moment, before she floated away to Fantasyland. But now, nothing else mattered. Theodore promised her that he would be there, and he did not disappoint.